In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the WP Maintenance plugin, which allows you to either put up a maintenance screen if you're doing work on your site, or you can put under construction screen up so that other people can't see the site, but you and your clients can. And we're getting started right now. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. And if it's your first time here, Hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more tutorials for you. And with that out of the way, let's hover the screen capture and install the WP Maintenance plugin. I'll see you there. Right now I'm in the dashboard. I'm gonna go over to plugins and then add new. I'm gonna type in the word maintenance in the search bar. The plugin we want is this first one here with this friendly construction guy. Click on install now. Then we click on activate. And now the plugin is installed, and at its simplest, it's already ready to go. I'm gonna show you what I mean. There is a menu item added on the left-hand sidebar called Maintenance. If we click on that to open the settings page, we see that Maintenance Mode is already on, and these are the settings that we have for it. If we visit the, the site in our current browser, it's gonna show up as it normally would for a logged in person. So this is how your site would normally appear, or in this case, our site appears like this, yours would appear how yours appears, clearly. But if we open this site up in Firefox, it doesn't have to be Firefox, just any different browser where you're not logged in, we see we have the maintenance mode page appearing. And if you're an admin, you can click over here and log in with login details. And regular visitors will see this, and this is the default. So this is, when you first install the plugin, it's gonna pre-fill all this info and it'll actually put you into maintenance mode immediately, which is something to be aware of. So you might want to install this plugin for later use, and you might not know that if when you install it and activate it, it turns on maintenance mode. So to turn off maintenance mode, all you do is click on this button here, it goes to off, click on save changes, the maintenance mode is off. If you want to keep it on, you can go ahead and customize all of these things, the page title, the headline, description, footer text, you can put your logo on there, you can put a background image in there. You can change the colors. You can do all kinds of stuff. I'm gonna quickly just customize this uh, while I pause the video. We'll come back and show how maintenance page could look once it's all customized, and I'll be right back. So I'm back, made a few simple updates, just up updated the text, added a logo, added a background image, and that's about it. Um, I should define some CSS to change the color of the text. But if we head over to Firefox, this is what the old one looked like when it was first installed, this is what it looks like. And then with my customizations, this is what it looks like now. Um, I could play around a little bit more to make this text a little more readable, uh, but you get the idea. And again, if you wanna log in, you can just click on that lock button. A login form appears, you can log in as usual. And that is the maintenance mode plugin. Once maintenance mode is finished, just come back to here, click on off, click on save changes. And when we do that, all of our content is still saved. So next time it's just a matter of turning it back on and it's quick and easy. And then we come back to the page that had the maintenance mode installed and now it's gone. Website's live again and you're ready to rock and roll. So that's how easy it is to install and set up the WP Maintenance plugin. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more awesome tutorials for you. And next up is clicking one of these videos on the right hand side and learning more WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.